This is the map for the Italian campaigns and what you see here is the setup for the 1796 campaign. Here you have Napoleon ready to invade Italy. The objectives are these areas here with a French flag and Napoleon needs to take control of all of those objectives before uh, the time runs out, otherwise he loses the game. Also, there is a defeat condition, which is that starting from March 1796, which is turn two, he needs to have control of at least two objectives at all times, otherwise he loses the game. And as you can see here, there is a number of Piedmontese enemies, and there is a number of Austrian units here ready to stop Napoleon, or at least to try to do so. There's also a considerable stack of Austrian units that will enter the game as soon as Napoleon reaches Mantua or Lonato. And, well, as you can see at the beginning of the game, Napoleon really has to take control of the second objective as soon as possible because there isn't much time before the defeat condition is triggered. The most natural thing seems to be to push against Turin, which is not too well defended, but at the same time, if not enough defenses are left in Nice, in case the Piedmont is decide to attack, well, this is bad because if he gains Turin, but loses Nice, well, it's like, you know, back to square one. So there is a little bit of balance that needs to be achieved here, maybe splitting forces. Well, I'm not going to uh, give anything away. You'll, you'll find out for yourself. Anyways, first you need to consolidate your position in this area, and then it will start pushing in this direction against Mantua. That, again, it's pretty hard to take because it is well defended, and then, again, all the Austrians will enter the battle. I would say that this scenario is kind of tricky only if not especially in the first couple of turns because you will need to solidify your position here of course but once you do so you control enough cities that you will receive a good amount of supplies that will allow you to uh, strengthen your army rebuild forces that have been destroyed and enlarge your army to the point that when you really start your adventure in this area of the map here and then you start moving towards that um, that city at that point your army probably will be strong enough that not much of what the Austrians can throw at you will really worry you. Also the Austrians are a little disorganized just because of the orders that they receive. Sometimes they launch suicide attacks with small groups sent against your large army. So I would say that really it's an interesting scenario with the first couple of turns being challenging and then the rest of the game will sort of like give you a good introduction to the system you will get used to the uh, mechanics of the game and in fact this is the scenario that the rule book suggests you play the introductory one and well what i can say i'll second that it is a good introduction introductory scenario